this video or my entire channel is going to be one of the best video because the topic on which I am going to discuss today is one of my specialization, one of my favorite subject, one of my favorite topic in astrology, in Vedic astrology. And the topic is birth time rectification. You guys must be thinking that what is birth time rectification and how can how can this be one of the, you know, very critical and one of the very important subject? Believe me, this topic, this concept of birth time rectification has changed my life completely. This topic has changed the way I look at astrology completely. So certainly this video is going to really help you uh, in terms of understanding the nitty and gritty of why birth times are very, very important, very critical in today's time and what is this concept. So I'm going to discuss this, this topic in depth, in detail today. So do watch this video till the end. All right. And welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe it. Click on the bell icon so that you can get amazing videos. Go through my playlist. I have very well organized playlist on my channel. My name is Gautam and I'm the Vedic astrologer till date doing astrology from last 12 years. I have seen more than 1500 clients globally and not even a single birth chart, not even a single consultation I have started without doing birth time rectification. So that is where my specialization is that if I look at any birth chart, I will start 100% I will start with the birth time rectification, which means rectifying the birth time of the person. Let's get into this topic. What is birth time rectification? Birth time rectification is a process to identify whether the, whether the given birth time which you have given is right or is there any difference. Because believe me, in the scope of division charts, in the scope of Krishnamurti Paddhati, even two minutes can change the entire birth chart. It can, you know, decide, two minutes can, this, uh, you know, change the entire destiny of of your life okay so that's that's where you know it is very critical to get the right birth time of your uh, secondly majority of the people so far like you know majority of the people give their birth time as 4 p.m 7 p.m 10 30 a.m 9 30 5 30 these are all round off figures these are all like approximate birth birth times what if your birth time is not 5 30 p.m and if it's 5 28 or 533 that 2 to 3 minutes can change your entire entire you know birth chart so many concepts do changes in in divisional charts and you know krishna murti paddhati sublords do change sasti ansha changes sometimes 2 to 3 minutes can even change the ascendant so a lot of changes do happen that's why i say this approx time you know a lot of people they give approx time 5 30 7 10 pm 12 pm and that is believe me that is not right so if you have your birth time as like, you know, approx, that will certainly not be the accurate, exact accurate birth time. So now the question is, what is birth time? What, what time should we consider as birth time? Is it when the baby comes out at the time of delivery? Is it when the cord is cut? Is it when the baby cries for the first time, which is the baby inhales, takes the first breath, and which activates the mind and you know the baby cries for the first time is that the right birth time there are three events and the timing of all these three events can vary the baby can come out and then the cord is cut after like two to three minutes maybe less than that or more than that and also you know the baby can cry after 10 or 15 minutes or sometimes five minutes or sometimes like on the spot so you know there are difference in these events so what time should I consider as the birth time? The exact birth time is when the baby comes out. So that is where, you know, we consider that as the right birth time. Now, the importance of birth time rectification is that, uh, as I said, two minutes that can change your entire birth chart. You might be taking a lot of consultations from so many astrologers, but you are not getting that, you know, you're not getting right predictions. You're not getting that guidance of your life. So, you know, astrology is not wrong. Astrology is all good. 
but it is that your right time has to be identified and your right exact birth time has to be, be identified. Because in Vedic astrology, in my scope of specialization, uh, I do divisional charts and Krishna Murti Paddhati, KP astrology. 2 minutes can change, you know, the sublot, 2 minutes can change the, the D60 or Shasti Ansha chart. Okay, that is why, you know, it, it is, it do matters that you, you are born at 4 p.m. or or 358 or 357 or 403. Okay. Um, the next is that how do how do I do birth time rectification? A lot of people do ask me. And you know, a lot of you might be already my client and might be wondering that what are the processes which I follow to do the birth time rectifications. There are typically there are two uh, concepts, two theories on which we follow the birth time rectification. The number one is that we try to match the personality of the person uh, in terms of you know the face, the looks that should match with the with the birth chart. For example, if it's uh, the Navamsha and the D9, which speaks a lot about your personality, it speaks volumes about your subconscious and your conscious mind. So if that really matches with your personality, then you, that is the right birth time. And the other second concept on which I would certainly do videos on how to do birth time rectification. The second concept is more based on KP astrology, which was invented by the Einstein, one of the greatest astrologer of the world, uh, Krishnamurti sir, who invented KP astrology somewhere back in 1970s and 80s at that time. Okay. That is, that is, you know, we use the ruling planets and we use uh, Shashak Grahas to identify your sub -lord and, you know, kind of Try to ask this universe basically what is your exact birth time through Prashna Kundali. That is one another concept which we follow. Now, you must have seen like you know during 1970s and 1980s and 1990s, at that time there was no digital clock. Only we used to have those uh, analog uh, wall clocks. We, we did not have digital clock. And analog clock is like never the standard. So, in the hospital, all the different rooms may have like different analog uh, clock and different timings. So the delivery is happening in this room, the analog clock would be different timing, it would say like 356, but in a different room it can be like 359, again you know you see a lot of differences in birth time just based on these analog clocks and a lot of times people do have like home birth during 1960s and 80s and 70s, 1990s also. Uh, Accurate recording of birth time sometimes was kind of difficult. So for that, this process of you know birth time rectification can really really help in identifying the exact birth time. Now you must have also seen that you know the sunrise timing difference. Like uh, there are two concepts of sunrise timing. One is when the sun is half up, and one is sun when the sun is full above the horizon. So these are the two uh, different sunrise time which is being considered. Uh, in calculation of Panchang. So that is where you know you would see a 2 minute difference between the sun when the sun is exactly in, at the half of the horizon and when the sun is completely at the horizon between these two events there is a difference of 2 minutes. And you would see a lot of Panchang calculation differences between the, the western Panchang or the south India Panchang and the northern Panchang. Okay? Uh, why is birth time rectification important? As I said, a lot of times there are complications in delivery, C-sections, uh, home births, prolonged labors. I have per personally seen like you know a lot of people having prolonged labor and then eventually having delivery. In those scenarios, complication cases, uh, we see birth, birth time varies and you know there is a scope of re time rectification for such people. Now my experience with regards to birth time rectification, as I said, I cannot start even a single birth chart without doing any, without doing the BTR on it, birth time rectification on it. Uh, when I was living in India, at that time, 90% of my birth time rectification, the time used to be off before. Say for example, if you give your birth time as 4 p.m., after my rectification, I used to, you know, get more of like, you know, time before 4 uh, PM. There is a logical reason to it, and the logical reason was, you know, earlier in 
1970s or 80s at that time or you know, a lot of times, uh, doctors when they complete the delivery, uh, they will go back to their office, their cabin, they will sit and they will see the time and they will note the time in the birth, birth certificate. But that's not the right time. They would note as like, okay, approximately 4 p.m. or 4 a.m., okay, 4 a.m. But you were born like 10, 15 minutes before in the delivery room. You might have born at uh, 3.36 or you might have born at 3.43. But doctor completed the delivery, went to the cabin, wrote 4 p.m. watch on the wall clock, analog clock. So these are, you know, some of the reasons, some of the logical scientific reasons why, you know, there is always a, the birth time varies, birth time varies for, you know, a person. Uh, secondly, right now in Canada, it's a different scenario, Can North America and Canada. Uh, every country has their own protocols of delivery, right? Uh, delivery in Canada, like baby deliveries and hospital procedures in Canada or in America would be different than Europe, could be different than Pakistan, it could be different than India, it could be different than China. That's where, you know, there are this, this entire theory of birth time rectification becomes very, very important. Uh, and also there's one more thing on which I'm doing last thing, which I'm, you know, doing research is that the longitude and latitude also has a direct correlation with the birth time of a person. Like if a baby is born on the countries which are near to the equator versus the babies who are born on the Tropic of Cancer versus Capricorn would have like, you know, some difference in birth time rectification versus I'm thinking about what if babies are born on North Pole, from there the view of the sky is like completely different and you know there are months when there is no sunlight in summers on North Pole there are months when there is no, uh, you know it's all almost like you know sun throughout 24 hours there's only sun and sun in the sky. The view would be different, the chalit chart would be different, the birth ascendant would be different for the people who would be born on the North Pole. So research is going on on that topic too. But this was all about birth time rectification. I hope you really understood why birth time rectification is important for every one of you. And if you have any questions related to birth time rectification, do comment below. Let me know how did you like this video overall. And uh, I would do more videos based on the time rectification and you know really help you to grow in learning more astrology and Vedic astrology topics. Till that time, take care and stay blessed. Goodbye.